How's it going boys? My name is Nutty and the day is finally here. Genuine mods for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. And yes, you can download them right now. Check the description or follow the tutorial for how to install mods. And later on, I'll be teaching you how to make your own mods. Yes, you can do it too. I'm super excited to show you guys this. So without further ado, let's get into it. And uh, please don't mind the terrible microphone quality. <laughs> So in order to install these mods, you're going to need to patch your game first with something called the Illusory Software. So in the description of this video, I'll have this page, illusory.dev, and it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is click Download Unreal Mod Unlocker, and then all we need is the basic one so that the game will actually accept these files that we're giving it. So you wanna click Download, and then choose your installer of choice. I'm just gonna click the regular setup. It'll bring you to this mega file, and then you just click download, and then it'll give you that. Once you have that, you're going to want to find Unreal Mod Unlocker Basic. It should be in your downloads folder. I have it right here, just in case. And you're going to want to double click on it. It'll bring up this window. Now there's going to be a music slider. You can't hear it, but I'm just going to go ahead and mute it. Uh, in case it's too much, you can just do that. Or if you want to, you know, jam out while you're installing some mods. Now you're going to want to find the project uh, folder for your game. Now, depending on if you've installed this through Steam or Oculus, your path is going to be different. If you installed the game through Steam, likely it's going to be in your C drive, followed by Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then TWD Saints and Sinners. Now, if you installed the game on Oculus, it's going to be in this directory. I don't know what it is. Uh, but I will add it in post on screen right here. And so you're going to want to go to that. For me, it's in Archives, Oculus, Software, Skydance Interactive, TWD. Now once you're in here, you're going to want to go to your Binaries folder, and then Win64, and then Select Folder, and then click Patch. Now I've already got the game patched, so I won't be going through this, but it's a very simple process. It takes no time at all. And once you've done that, it'll be open for mods. So now in order to actually get the mods themselves, all you need to do is check the description again. There will be a mod DB page for our modding group, which is called the Whispers. Now right now it's not viewable, but once this video is out, it will be. Uh, and once you go to the add-ons section right here, you will see all of the mods that have been uploaded. We've got a ton so far. I've got a couple. And keep in mind, this is a collaborative effort between GNQ Gaming, Substatica, Dr. Bread, Dominoski, and myself. So some of these pages will be a little bit different in each one. But all you got to do is find the mod you want. I'm going to go to Portable Propane, because why not? And then all you have to do is click Download Now, and then it'll bring this up. And just give it a second, it'll download automatically. Uh, or if it doesn't, you can click this link and it'll download it for you. And now we have portable propane. So now you're going to want to open up your Walking Dead folder, which has binaries, config, contents. It's the same one we just patched. And you're going to want to go to your install location. Now I have portable propane, the gold weapons pack, and no HUD. So what you're going to want to do is extract each one of these to their respective folders, and uh, then you're going to be able to install them. So I'll just extract these really quick. Should take no time at all because they're very they're very uh, small in size. Once you have the mods downloaded, select the one you want and click the README tab, and this will give you some helpful tips. It'll tell you the version, the person who created it, and their YouTube link and the Whispers mod DB site and the Discord link is in the description as well, and a short description of what the mod does. And it gives you the illusory.dev and the install locations. So what you're going to want to do is you'll see this folder and you'll just want to go into TWD content and then just drag that folder in. It is as simple as that. And when you boot up the game, it may crash initially, but if you restart the game, it will load up and then that model will be in the game. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. Hope you have fun with mods and uh, yeah, have fun.